This is the BooksTab Ultra C Pro, and it's a productivity device that writes and feels like real paper, but has all of the features you would need in a modern day tablet. It uses an e-ink screen, and if you've ever seen an e-reader like a Kindle before, this uses the same type of tech, just a lot more advanced. But while e-ink screens are good for reading and writing on, they usually have a host of other problems from screen lag to a lack of color. So today I'll be testing and rating four different day-to-day -day tasks on this tablet to show you what the e-ink experience is actually like in daily use, and see if it can really replace alternatives like pen and paper paper, physical books, or even my iPad and laptop. Okay, before we get into testing, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So books sent me their Tab Ultra C Pro, which normally retails for $650 for the tablet and an additional $150 if you want this keyboard cover case. So it's definitely not a cheap device. And to their credit, it feels really premium with a full aluminum body design coming in at just 6.6 .6 millimeters thin. It feels really solid and it's also pretty easy to hold with this wide grip design. While it looks like a large Kindle at first glance, it actually runs Android 12 underneath so you can really do almost everything that you'd want to do on a regular tablet like an iPad. Okay while it technically can do everything it's not always the best experience as you'll soon find out and this tablet is definitely better at doing some things over others. Let's start with the most obvious thing, reading. I won't go into too much detail on the tech here but the way the e-ink display of the books tablet works is completely different from traditional screens. Small ink particles are integrated into the individual pixels which can be activated by different electrical charges. The result is a screen that doesn't need to emit light into your eyes but rather reflects the light around you. So there's no eye strain and it's viewable from almost any angle like real paper and ink. And honestly, this reading experience is pretty impressive. I typically only read physical books because I never really understood e-readers, but after using this tablet to read for the last couple of days, I can see why people like them. For starters, looking at the screen is quite similar to reading a physical book. You can see all the details around each letter much clearer since there's real ink underneath. And in black and white mode, this display reaches a full HD resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which is actually higher than the iPad Pro. And I can actually notice and appreciate the screen quality on this large 10.3 inch display. I think my favorite part though is being able to clearly see the screen in any lighting condition. When it's bright you don't need any backlighting turned on and it's way more visible in direct sunlight or outdoors compared to a traditional screen. Also since this books tablet runs on Android 12 you have access to all Google Play apps including Kindle, Libby, or any other reading library apps. So unlike some e-ink devices that only work with their own apps, here you can choose to use books as native e-reader or any other app you prefer. Overall reading experience is easily a 5 out of 5. But while black and white content is really sharp, the sharpness doesn't hold up when viewing colored content. If you're looking at colored content, like on a comic book for example, you're only going to get 150 pixels per inch and the color display is not really comparable to a traditional screen. Color variety and saturation is average at best and all of the main colors are there, but they don't come close to the brightness or vibrancy of traditional LCD or OLED screen. That said, having full color on an e-ink display is already a pretty impressive feature. And for stuff like reading comics or looking at graphics within books, it honestly gets the job done unlike trying to watch videos on this, which we'll look at soon. Four out of five. But well, let's talk about one of my favorite use cases for this books tablet, note taking. The best part about this tablet is it actually comes built in with the books pen two pro, which is so refreshing to see because other companies typically charge over $100 for the stylus itself. And the pen itself is actually really nice. There's no battery or charging needed, and it's just a bit lighter than the Apple Pencil, but it still feels really premium. It has a built-in eraser like the Surface Pens, and it has a similar in hand feeling to the Apple Pencil since there is this one flat side that magnetically attaches to the tablet. The writing feeling is where this tablet and screen really shines though, and it's kind of hard to show in a video, but the writing feeling on this book's tablet feels a lot closer to writing on actual paper than any other device that I've tried, and that includes my iPad Pro with the paper-like screen protector. You'll definitely feel a lot more friction while writing, so it feels closer to real paper, and I've even heard that adding another textured screen protector on top of this makes it feel even more tactile for writing. Besides it just feeling more textured, I can also write with a lot more precision and a lot smaller on this tablet than I could on my iPad. I'm not sure if the glass is thinner so I can see where I'm writing or the pen input is just a lot more precise. But if you write on the smaller side like me, you won't have to zoom in and out like you will on an iPad. You can just treat this like a notebook and write how you would normally. The one thing I don't like about this writing experience is this camera bump on the back which makes it uneven and wobbly when you're writing on a flat surface. When I'm at my desk, I have a desk mat so it doesn't really affect me, but if I'm working outside, I'll definitely need the keyboard case to make sure that the tablet sits flat. And one of the most helpful ways that I've been using this tablet in my workflow is to replace my to-do list notebook. There are all these templates in the free notes app that comes built in and you can easily find one that suits whatever you need to do. For me, I typically have a running list of to-dos for work and I keep track 
of them using a physical notebook, but it gets messy sometimes and it's harder to bring with me on the go. So this books tablet has honestly been a great replacement that gives me the convenience of digital tech with the enjoyment of writing on pen and paper. Overall, writing on this thing is a five out of five for me. And since the screen only refreshes when you're using the tablet, other times it just sits on my desk like a real notepad with my to-do list visible at all times and not draining the battery. Yeah, speaking of the battery, it's really long lasting compared to regular tech that I'm used to. I can measure the battery in days rather than hours and I typically only need to charge it every two to three days depending on how much I use this. The most practical benefit though is being able to use this tablet for a few hours, toss it into my bag and then take it out a week later with the battery still at 85%. Well, unless you're using this like a real laptop, which comes with a few other issues. But that's where this $150 keyboard case I mentioned comes in handy. And honestly, it's a pretty well-designed case. It comes with a strong hinge, a full-size keyboard with decent key travel, plus a trackpad with gesture support. You simply drop the tablet here and then it attaches magnetically. And then you start working with a mini laptop. Now, this is something I was really excited to try because e-ink tablets are typically known for handwritten notes and don't usually support typing. But as much as I like writing notes by hand, I still do most of my writing on a keyboard for work and scripting videos. So I wanted to see how this tablet will hold up for all of the typing work that I need to do, for example, to draft a new video script. And I had relatively low expectations coming in as I don't really like tablet keyboard cases, but I was pleasantly surprised by how usable this setup actually is and how responsive the screen is. So on this tablet, you have a few refresh modes to choose from, from an HD mode for static reading to the ultra fast mode for video content. When I was typing, I was typically on fast or ultra fast mode. And while there is still a little latency, it's actually very usable for typing work if you're just typing in a blank document or writing a script in Notion, for example. The lag is definitely more noticeable when you're moving the cursor around, and that makes it quite hard to use if you're not just typing on an unformatted document. And you'll notice the same thing if you try to do any sort of web browsing on this as well. Like, it's definitely possible if you just needed to Google something or find a news article to read, but it's not an ideal web browsing experience compared to like an iPad or a laptop. Overall though, I'd give the typing experience a solid three out of five. Typing notes itself is pretty decent, but I would say the biggest benefit is being able to work directly in Notion or any other app and have this full keyboard experience that doesn't strain your eyes, like for example, if you're trying to get some work done before bed. All right, the final thing we're testing here and probably the craziest is using this tablet for entertainment purposes, like scrolling on social media or even watching videos, which is pretty crazy to think about. Okay, before I get into it, let me caveat that this tablet is not trying to be your go-to entertainment device for watching Netflix. In fact, most other e-ink tablets straight up can't run some of these apps for a reason. But since this book's tablet is running Android 12, we might as well put it to the test. Not surprisingly, the video experience is far from ideal. The limitations of e-ink are a lot more visible here and you can see the lag and quite a bit of ghosting, which just means when there's a faint imprint from the prior image. And of course the colors are quite faded here. And again, it's kind of like looking at a moving newspaper. But honestly, it's pretty cool seeing video and even stuff like TikTok working on this display. It's kind of like seeing those moving pictures in Harry Potter. But this is definitely the least important thing feature-wise, and I don't think anyone is buying this device to watch videos with. You also lose out on the low power advantage of e-ink displays because the screen is constantly refreshing now. So not only is the experience suboptimal, you're also losing out on one of the bigger advantages of e-ink. Overall, I give this a two out of five. It's not horrible. I'm still enjoying this MKBHD video. Like, if this was my only device on the go, I could probably still use it to watch a lecture or something. Okay, overall the Books Tab Ultra C Pro feels like a light Android tablet with an e-ink screen and some additional quirks that make it really good for productivity and maybe less good for entertainment. And I think that's totally fine. This device is sold as a productivity device, so it doesn't have to replace everything that you do just the things that make sense for it to do. One of the main reasons I've been coming back to this device is because being online and connected all the time on my iPad or laptop can be really distracting, especially with all the notifications and the ease of just opening up TikTok or YouTube. So if you wanna be able to just get through your work without all the distractions and eye strain from your iPad while still having the tech you need to work in the modern world, an ink device like this books tablet might be a great choice for you. I'm still warming up to this books tablet though because it forces me to slow everything down and I'm still getting used to that. For now though, it's been a great notepad replacement and even lets me finish some work in Notion at night without using a bright screen that ruins my sleep rhythm. But I will say, if you're only looking for the reading and note-taking capabilities of an e-ink device, Books has some other thinner and cheaper tablets that can do those things just as well, but I'll link everything including this Tab Ultra C Pro in the description below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching until the end. Let me know what you think of e-ink displays if you've tried one or if you own one yourself. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tech content coming soon. I have a few smartphone videos coming up, so those ones should be fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.